Hey, this is JJ French from Twisted Sister, and you're watching HD Tracks, Master of Musicians. I would think that uh, that people of a certain age uh, who don't buy records, obviously, they're MP3 buyers, they're downloaders or they're streamers, um, are used to listening to music in a certain way. And in my generation, uh, you know, being older, we had albums which were high res in comparison to what was available. And when CD came out, everybody knows that CD kind of compressed music and MP3s compressed it really even more. So if you kind of like analog and you like the way records kind of sounded, um, it never sounded right because high res digital didn't really exist. And um, for years, MP3 was the standard by which people listened to it. And you know, people compromised it. They thought it was fine. They didn't know better. Uh, I knew better. I was of a generation that kind of rejected CDs. I mean, we didn't think CDs were great. And CDs were already four times better than MP3s. I mean, MP3s destroy music. They really destroy the body of the music. But some people just don't care. So that's fine. It's convenient. You download it, throw it on an iPod, you listen to it. Um, I always look forward to high res coming and HD tracks brought high res to the people and brought popular albums in high res, changed everything. So technology has, has gotten to the point where uh, high quality digital recording has been made uh, available to everybody at a really reasonable price. Back in the day when we would make albums, we wanted to make good sounding albums, we were spending two, three hundred thousand dollars in the studio. You don't have to do that anymore. And with the advent of super high res digital recording, you can make a great sounding record really inexpensively. And that's the good news. The bad news is everybody can make a, a good sounding record. So even if you suck, you can make a good sounding record. You can suck really pristinely these days. Um, Under the Blade was a pretty primitive sounding record. Um, Can't Stop Rock and Roll was another level of technical uh, quality. Stay Hungry was more so. Come Out and Play Love is for Suckers used greater uh, technology as time went on. All of it sounds great uh, when you listen to it with high res downloads. You just sound closer to the music. And when you connect with the music uh, emotionally, um, it makes you connect with the artist even more. So that's how important it really is. And that's why I'm so happy that our music has finally been uh, remastered and, and available now. With, I've been screaming for years, and thanks to Rhino and their uh, deal with with, uh, um, with HD tracks, finally you can hear all of our wonderful 100% distortion with no distortion at all. Isn't that what technology is supposed to be about? Every single day I get emails from fans saying Stay Hungry was the first album I ever bought, uh, Can't Stop Rock and Roll was the first album I ever bought, it is the reason why I am a fan, it's the reason why I like music. All these things that I used to say about a million bands like Led Zeppelin or The Beatles or whatever, you know, thank you if I could ever, you know, thank you guys for, for opening that door to me. Every day I get these emails and every day I write back and go, we're humbled by that and thank you. Uh, it means you have a legacy. It means that after you're gone, from this mortal coil, your music lives on. Music is very, very powerful, as we all know. I mean, it's a cliche, but it is the soundtrack of our lives. And Twisted Sister provided the soundtrack of a lot of people's lives. And we're extremely proud of that.